Let's finish out the competition right now. The uh, last category is new media. I'm particularly interested. New media, entertainment, and education. First, let's welcome our judges to the stage. Chen Dan Dan, Lenora Chu, and Eunice Yoon, please. Welcome, ladies. I don't know if it was a plan to have all men and then all women, but well, yes. welcome to all of you. Um, let's get right to it. Our first contestant is Jason Wang, founder and CEO of MakeBlock. MakeBlock is a Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are providing service, and this is. Um, oh, I want to. Uh, we want providing a service to this uh, STEAM uh, education. Uh, what's STEAM? And that's um, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. And we are c combining technology and education. And STEAM education is um, education of technology. And so also it's uh, combining some content. Uh, we are, te technology is, uh, is helping uh, education, uh, let them learn better and let them uh, and change the environment. And, and in the past 50 years, we have uh, not changed the environment of education. Uh, so the new technology can change them, um, can let them have a different environment, uh, provide them different hardware, software, and we have hardware and software to provide them. And our uh, solution uh, includes um, hardware, software, and, and uh, competition. And each uh, product line includes uh, like uh, robotics, and uh, you can see that they have different um, uh, they have different uh, equipments that can they can use at school at at home, and these all can sh tell them or teach them so that uh, they can learn better in the future. And then uh, let me uh, briefly introduce our products. This one, the first one, is uh, DIY uh, series. This is is. Um, uh, DIY platform. This is uh, DIY mechanical robotics construction platform. It's made for creators, and you can see that it can be combined together to make uh, uh, little cars and uh, little planes. And and this is our first product line, and this was our early product line. And not everyone has all these uh, creative ideas, and so we have some uh, introduction uh, M bus series. Uh, these these uh, well, uh, this comes with hardware and software so that they can uh, build a, um, a robot. And then we have some uh, uh, drones. Uh, this is AirBlock, and uh, these uh, drone uh, is teaching the kids about aerodynamics. And um, uh, you can see that uh, this. Uh, a drone can fly, and then it has um, it has received many awards, and and then you can see our uh, f uh, homepage for this. And this is not only f uh, for drone, and then this is also a uh, uh, transformer. And uh, this one, uh, Neuron, uh, also received a uh, golden award for that. And it's a um, electronic uh, platform. Uh, so that uh, everyone can make something up, uh, every day. So they are not only uh, the uh, users, but also appliers of these uh, technologies. So uh, they could use, uh, by using these uh, technology, they could probably create some projects. Apart from this uh, hardware, we also have very strong software. We have uh, altogether uh, 4.5 million of users uh, under these uh, four major software system. And uh, another major um, area is uh, NAKEX uh, Global Robotic. 
competition for teenagers. Through these uh, contests, uh, we can present uh, uh, make, uh, uh, present a platform for these young people to show. And also, these are the uh, hardware, software, and uh, um, we are a company of uh, global uh, vision, and 70% uh, of the revenue comes from the overseas China. Overseas China. And uh, these are the um, uh, competitive uh, uh, product lines of ours. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Chen Dan Dan, we'll begin with you, please. I think uh, uh, the young people, uh, kids, are really um, happy because uh, when I was young, we only was playing the wooden blocks. So uh, I like this uh, education uh, with robots. And also in your company, uh, now 70% of the revenue uh, co comes from outside China, right? And um, I think... Uh, uh, there are two challenges. One is Chinese uh, people's uh, uh, understanding and um, probably um, the acceptance, le acceptance level of uh, Chinese people had to take some time to um, for you to educate them so that it could accept. And also a copy of the hardware is pretty, uh, you know, of low cost and how to prevent that. And a wonderful product. I can see many young families, families with young children taking to this, especially because it encourages creativity and exploration through STEM, and I think it's a, it's a great approach. Eunice Yun. I love the idea that you're arming the engineers of the future, both boys and girls. And, um, but one of the things that I see is that there is a lot of competition in the field. So I would want to hear more about what type of partnerships you have with schools at various levels of education. So please speak to those concerns. OK. First of all, it's about the uh, competition. Uh, this is a new industry. Uh, we started uh, uh, earlier, and uh, we have already had five uh, production lines. And the next year, there will be two new uh, product lines to be uh, launched. So we have the largest uh, uh, matrix of products. And um, uh, users need a whole solution of solution. Secondly, STEAM education is a, a highly, uh, has been given high attention by other countries, and China as well. Recently, uh, Chinese government is promoting uh, this uh, education as well, especially at the end of 2016 and beginning of 2017. State Council of China has issued this plan for AI development, which uh, clearly said that this uh, programming education will be uh, become popular subject in the middle school and primary school, especially in this year, starting from this year. And uh, in the college entrance examination, especially in Zhejiang province, uh, programming, programming has become one of the uh, uh, thematic um, uh, areas of testing, similar to that of math and uh, ch uh, Chinese and English. That means that this is very important, and China is uh, uh, pushing forward. And we're also very much looking forward in the year 2016, we could have a very good uh, business growth in China. And um, meanwhile, in terms, in terms of uh, competition, education companies cannot be globalized easily, especially, for example, Xindongfang uh, New Oriental. They have to focus their business in China, most of them. But for a company like us, uh, we have products. We have the opportunity to be globalized. And uh, we have strength, especially during this competition. We have very good and uh, far powerful industrial chain in Shenzhen. And you can also see we have very strong innovative ability. Together with our uh, supply chain in this um, Shenzhen area, together with our global market, uh, I'm sure that we can, it can guarantee that we can be a leading company in the industry. And uh, eventually, we hope ourselves to become, could be serving as a bridge so that we can integrate the technology, most advanced technologies and education so that kids could uh, use these technologies instead of being served. I congratulate you for wearing your T-shirt. Uh, that's just a very good entrepreneurial move. Thank you very much. <laughs> Make block. Next up is Li Hao Young, founder and chairman of Yi Shui Education. Uh, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is Yi Hao Yang. I'm uh, from uh, the uh, I'm uh, uh, the only start uh, entrepreneur uh, who uh, had a listed company, and. Um, our uh, pre listed company has already read uh, five million billion of uh, uh, market uh, research, and uh, also in the K-12 uh, um, area, 
the kids' uh, learning if efficacy is very low. That's why I decided to start from scratch to uh, start uh, start up this uh, issue education. The online uh, education market is developing really quickly, and. Um, the uh, online sales uh, usually is uh, three to seven sales uh, uh, times of the sales of the uh, offline market. So we also would like to um, achieve this online sales uh, revenue. Uh, AI used for online education, uh, we have a four uh, unicorn. Uh, Newton received a financing of 140 million in total. And they have uh, already verified that this AI teaching is very effective. So what is the... Um, um, theories behind it, uh, there are three. Uh, the traditional education was uh, very inefficient because we have to learn all the knowledge points. But through AI and through information, um, we could uh, make uh, uh, detect the weakness of uh, the kids so that we can uh, uh, enhance those uh, areas. So the, in this case, uh, the efficiency of learning could be uh, um, enhanced. Secondly, is the speed of uh, learning. For the same knowledge point, uh, some kids uh, can, it takes one kid uh, seven minutes, for it takes another kid 10 minutes. And the traditional classroom is only fixed uh, time uh, line, but uh, through our AI, we can give uh, different kids different uh, learning pathway. It should be customized. The third area is uh, uh, tracking the origin. Uh, a student uh, of uh, uh, in third level, in third grade, probably couldn't uh, study well because of the uh, weak uh, foundation established in his uh, first year or second year. So we need to find uh, where the weakness is, and then in order to address this problem in a radical way. So a uh, great results have been achieved through this approach. After two or three years of R and D, we've already got to 270 million of. Uh, uh, angel investment when when Chuma Women and Haina invested in us. Um, Hana also invested in Jinjir Tou Tiao. We are trying to provide customized uh, t um, education to the each kids uh, with different features and also New Oriental invested as, uh, as well. And also we got all the um, uh, AI award, top AI award, uh, and also number one uh, uh, award uh, in different contests in China. So this is uh, our team members. So we have a chief a scientist who had already published uh, several uh, dozens of uh, papers, and uh, he is the uh, top scientist in the AI area. Richard um, is uh, from uh, Newton. Uh, he is the chief architecture and he has a very good uh, achievements in AI. Two others are from uh, uh, Tencent and uh, Shengda. And in the past one year, uh, we have already, uh, within two years, we got uh, uh, 100,000 of uh, uh, paid students. And uh, also uh, for the official uh, students, uh, the average annual revenue uh, per formal participant is uh, 12,000 RMB. Using AI uh, teaching, we could these achievements. The reason is behind. The reason, reason is um, uh, the students are very happy with uh, different courses. So we have this um, uh, very good um, uh, teachers. And uh, China CCTV, AH, um, and different other um, news media has uh, full coverage of ours. So students uh, could uh, learn in a very happy way. And uh, in 10 years, we got, uh, in a previous uh, job, uh, we, it took us 10 years to achieve uh, 5 billion of sales revenue. We hope uh, we could uh, uh, beat our uh, previous experience to achieve the 5 billion in a short time period. Thank you. Uh, I can see great applications, especially in areas, schools where they have trouble getting great teachers. I wonder what your comments are on that and whether there has been government support of this concept. Great, Eunice. I hear a lot about online education companies and I would want to hear more about the role of the teacher, the vetting of the teacher, and uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ms. Chen, please. Um, I think education is a very huge market, and I'm very happy to see you to uh, you and your company, your team, to um, help uh, the students learn more efficiently in a very brand new way. And I think it's a very good uh, business model as well. Thank you. Uh, 好，那个
In the past uh, uh, traditional education, Chinese students uh, probably are not so qualified. And there are very good teachers, but only 1% uh, of them. So they uh, would confine students um, um, from uh, thinking in a broader way. But AI could uh, help uh, students to uh, think differently. They could learn all the um, uh, knowledge points, all the provoking, uh, provo provocative thinking, and all the different ways to address uh, the uh, students' questions. So they could become a very creative teacher to handle the students and to handle more challenges. and. And also, in terms of our business model, uh, part of it is online. In terms of online, uh, similar to Dedicate and the uh, 5-1 talk, but the uh, students uh, has uh, 12 years uh, to pay from age 7 to 18. And uh, we don't have to change teachers frequently, so the teachers uh, uh, we hired are only just to supervise and encourage the uh, teaching. So only 17% is the cost, the 80% of the profit margin. and. Uh, in terms of uh, the uh, uh, efficacy, uh, the, uh, uh, the current st situation is the students have very good uh, performance of learning compared with the face-to-face uh, -face classroom. And therefore, we also are trying to develop the offline uh, classroom. Um, we're going to develop more than 200 uh, uh, classrooms uh, next year. But these uh, classrooms are uh, Automated classroom. There is no teacher there, so the students could come over here to enjoy this uh, socializing environment. But uh, uh, mainly, the teaching is still uh, conducted through this online environment. But the students will be customized um, with different uh, courses. And um, if you are really genius, uh, then you can just uh, jump from a grade one to grade uh, higher grades. Uh, you, within one month, you can study the whole year of. Uh, whole year course of a beta uh, computer science department of Beijing University. And uh, for the uh, students uh, who scored only 50, and they probably couldn't pass, we shouldn't give them up. We customize um, the uh, lower uh, amount of knowledge points uh, for them to study. And uh, therefore, the uh, dedication of the students and devotion of the students and sense of achievements could be different. And the students are happy with that. And, and it has developed, and uh, you can see that uh, uh, left one is the demo that we did. And th these two people, they're, um, th they did um, a uh, real-time 3D um, AI, and then and then. And then you can see that the left, uh, the left person act was actually in different uh, uh, room, but then you can see that it seems like they're in, uh, in the same room. And then the right picture is that you can see that um, this, the whole um, sports uh, uh, game looks like they are having, um, they're uh, right there, and then they, you can see how much they're running. And, and you can see that uh, this, uh, we can do the, um, a telepress and then this whole telepress is uh, very uh, amazing and you can see that uh, you it might take like uh, for 15 hours to fly to uh, go from uh, China to uh, uh, to uh, US but then now we can use this um, telepress uh, have a uh, meeting in Los Angeles and this is our brief introduction we uh, began this uh, 3d hologram last year and we have um, over 10 uh, interns, and we have uh, over 5 million of um, capital. And we are a um, very uh, young company. We have many um, uh, team workers from uh, Tsinghua University, and we can see uh, we have um, exceeded um, many standards. And what are we doing right now? Uh, first of all, you um, take a picture, and you you capture this um, image and then you do uh, reconstruction and compression um, and, and put it and then put it in an AI. And we're very proud that we can do a real-time uh, delivery and I don't think that many company can do that. And this is, uh, two, um, this is two separate rooms but you can see that it can be combined like uh, one, just one room. And then it can be done in uh, 10 Mbps. Yes. And this is a very good uh, resolution. And, and for, uh, for offline, we can do a much better quality. And you can see um, the pictures on your left, on your right. And you can see that 
um, the data is telling us that we can see very um, uh, very high definition pictures, um, and that's uh, trillion uh, pixels. And our and this is for us it's a very uh, important um, uh, data, and we have used uh, this. Uh, Technology uh, to deliver uh, Fan Bingbing's picture to um, pictures to deliver Fan Bingbing's pictures to everyone at home, and uh, later in the future you can see um, some advertisement, and and no matter what you're doing, you can not just um, you're not just watching, you can also uh, interact with the advertisement, and we are also um, working. Uh, uh, everyone's um, contribution, and uh, we also uh, look forward to working with you. And I, I know this uh, media is uh, developed through different process, and we, uh, be because of uh, consumer uh, content, uh, we can all work on this, and we are working hard to uh, improve our future. Thank you. Uh, competition from San Francisco <laughs> as a hologram here. Yeah, should I, should I? I Eunice, please. Yeah. Well, I love the telepresence idea. It just conjures up the image of Princess Leia and R2-D2. Um, but I worry that it's all about technology, but not a lot of business model there. And um, also, I'm concerned about at what point you'd be able to make money. Lenora, please. Yeah. Sure, yes. Um, you would have liked to hear more about your long-range plans as well. And please. Well, I, I think uh, it's very interesting technologies. And um, uh, I think uh, I, don't, I'm, I consider the same as the uh, two ladies. So, so you spoke about advertising, but perhaps speak a little bit more about your business model and how you see it evolving. Hold on. Yes, um, this technology is still developing, and we are still in the uh, research and development stage. And for the telepress um, technology, we can do the video conferencing system, and then we can maybe sell for like about two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand uh, U.S. dollars. And we can uh, we in the in the uh, beginning we might sell it to companies or people with uh, with um, uh, rich, uh, rich families, so that uh, when you are uh, attending a meeting in, in China, you might see able to see your daughter uh, in the U.S. So uh, maybe one uh, camera you can just click in and then uh, use your smartphone, and then and we can just do the um, a, we can become a communication platform. So uh, sometimes we can you uh, use Skype or Skype Room, and then um, for business meetings. And then we can have, we can utilize Skype for our personal uh, purpose. And then for our advertisement, um, this is a very, um, it's an exper experiment that we're doing. And I think um, uh, we are trying to provide solution to our services. Thank you very much. It's very exciting and very ambitious. Ambitious. Congratulations. Okay, for the last time today, please uh, take up your devices and uh, press one for make block, press two for Yi Shui education, and press three for Owly. And while the voting is, uh, is, is ongoing, who would like to offer an opinion on which they would choose? You? I like make block. Why? Because I think it's immediate, it's out there. China has an advantage with manufacturing, and so they'd be able to source, I would think, a lot of those pieces from here. So I like that. And one other concern I had with, well, with Ali, I'm still concerned about that longer term vision and the numbers and cents. And with Yi Shui, I'm a little worried too about the privacy issues of having so much data being collected about your children, even though that's going on right now, the debate could limit the company when it looks overseas and eventually would have global ambitions. Well, I'm happy to say from Yi Shui Education's perspective that your concerns notwithstanding, they're the choice of the audience. So congratulations, <laughs> Yi Shui Education. Please stand. Yeah, okay. 
Thank you so much, and thank you so much, ladies, for your fine work. Thank you. Please, an applause for our judges.